Hi children, I'm Pastor Mark. If you've watched any of my children's messages before, you know that I always do those from outside. I'm usually on the back deck at my house with trees in the background and I like to be outside. But today's not such a nice day at my house for being outside. It's raining and it's a little windy, so I'm taught from inside my house, actually in an office inside my house. Now I wanted to show you something today. Can you see what this is? Yep. It's a cross, right? It's a special cross to me. Now this cross is on a chain, so I can actually wear it. It's, it's a, a necklace. So I can put this on like this. Now usually when I wear this cross, I wear it under my shirt instead of on the outside, but you can wear it either way. Now this cross has a story because this cross was given to me by my father many years ago. Now, when my father was 17 years old, he entered the United States Navy. And I think he was a little nervous about that. And he bought this cross and he wore it underneath his uniform. He didn't know exactly where he was going to be or exactly what he was going to be doing. And I think it helped him to know that Jesus was with him and that Jesus was watching over him and that Jesus loved him. And wearing the cross reminded him of that. Now, why do you suppose my father gave this cross to me instead of keeping it for himself? Well, I think that he gave it to me, and I was actually in seventh or eighth grade when he gave it to me. I think he gave it to me because he was hoping that this cross would do the same thing for me that it did for him. That it would be a reminder to me that no matter where I was and no matter what I was doing, that Jesus was always with me, watching over me, and that Jesus loves me. And that is what it means to me. I mean, it's nice that it was a cross given to me by my father, but it's a reminder to me that Jesus is always with me and that he loves me. Now, there are other crosses too, right? This is a cross that I have in my office. You can hang it on a wall or you can put it on top of a bookcase, but it's, it's also a reminder to me when I'm in my office and I see it, it's a reminder that God is with me and watching over me and loving me. And it's good to have the reminder because we can't see God, right? God promises to always be with us, but we can't see God. So when we see the cross, it's a reminder that God is with us. Now, you, can you think of other ways that we can be reminded that God is with us? Well, things I can think of are like when we pray, right? Because when we pray, we believe that God listens to our prayers and we believe that God is with us when we pray, but we can't see God. And Bible stories, I mean, every time we have a worship service, there are always stories from the Bible that we read and those stories remind us of who God is. They remind us about Jesus, God's Son. So there are other ways we can be reminded that God is with us. But the cross is a good reminder. Now there are other places that you can see the cross too. I mean some people have crosses in their homes, but not everybody does. But some people do. And some people might wear a necklace like this that has a cross on it which can be a reminder of Jesus. But even if you're in your car, and if you drive past a church, you will probably see a cross. You might see a cross on the top of the church, or you might see a cross on the sign at the church. But really, no matter what church you go past, almost all churches 
will have a cross on the outside. When we worship inside the church, and we can't do that right now, but when the church is closed, but when we do, there are crosses inside the church. And every time you see a cross, it's a reminder of God's love for us. So whenever you see a cross, it's a reminder that Jesus loves you, that Jesus is watching over you, and that Jesus is always with you, even though we can't see him. Let us pray. God, we're thankful that you love children. And we're thankful that you sent your son Jesus into our world so that we can know about your love, so that we can know that you love us and that you love children. We thank you that you love children's families too. And we pray that you would always be with us. And we know that you are because you have promised to be. And we pray that whenever children and whenever any of us see a cross, we can be reminded of your love for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm glad that we were able to talk today, that I could talk with you. And I will be back again next week to talk with you again. And just remember that God always loves you and he's always with you no matter where you are. And that whenever you see a cross, it's a reminder that God is with you and loves you.